So thank you for coming back to the channel. I really do appreciate all the feedback. Uh, everybody who keeps in touch with me is, is pretty amazing in my eyes. I really, really, really enjoy everything everyone's done uh, between liking, subscribing, commenting, keeping in touch. It's been amazing. Even people who you know have my cell phone from the past, who have dealt with me in the past, just sending random text messages, letting me know you enjoyed a video means a lot to me. Thank you. So what I ended up doing um, today was I headed over to East Coast Supercharging for the day and I was able to hang out with Doug. And what I decided to do was the video that I shot, I removed a portion of it and I wanted to separate it from a larger video. What it was about was basically why he likes one way to power and run a methanol system on a car versus another. You have two options whenever you buy kits most of the time. You could either do a MAP style, manifold absolute pressure sensor style, or a MAF style, mass airflow. I usually go mass airflow, and those are the kits I always buy, but I really wanted to know from Doug what his opinion was and why. So what I wanted to do was take that footage and let you guys see it right now so you can see what he said and uh, it'll probably enlighten you in a way that'll help you make a decision when you're trying to purchase a kit in the future. So uh, thanks again. I'm gonna play that video right now and then after the video, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll end. Uh, I'll let you know what decision I went with after I listened to what he said. So here we go, I'm gonna play it right now. So uh, you had said something before that actually is something that's bothered me in the past. What type of meth kit to go for? You know, I always went math, mass airflow style. Well, you, you're actually anti-mass airflow style. I think it's I think it's a good idea to explain kind of why you don't like mass um, airflow. I'm not a fan of mass airflow um, tuning for methanol because the purpose of methanol is to be used when you would be in a power enrichment setting. So a power enrichment setting is going to come on typically under a, a map setting. You could be at say 8,000 hertz at 6,000 RPM, but not in wide open throttle mm -hmm. because the engine's moving so much air. So at that point, your methanol is gonna start spraying, but you're not in a power enrichment setting where you have the load that you need the methanol. Yeah. So, and then the second problem with that is now under lower RPMs, we have to take timing out because you are under that load, even greater load, and your, but your math settings aren't set up to come on until upper end, seven, 8,000 Hertz, where you would typically be when you floored the car. So, or the very beginning of it. So it just, uh, to, to um, replace your power enrichment with your methanol settings, to me is the more correct direction of how you want to go with it. So when you say Hertz, is that like the injector pulsing or something? Or what, what do you um, mean by Hertz? Hertz is your math Hertz. Math Hertz, okay. Uh, for instance, this car probably idles around, give or take 3000 Hertz. Okay. Wide open throttle on this blower setup, well I can tell you. Um, was 10,000 hertz. Mm -hmm. So uh, coincidentally, exactly 10,000 hertz, which is rare. <laughs> but um, uh, a lot of times if you're just spraying meth like that, um, if you have it come on at say 8,000 hertz, then as you were to floor it at very low RPM, you're not gonna have any meth. Yeah. So now you're gonna have high load and zero meth. Uh, so I, I just don't think that it really works with the car properly unless you're putting meth on an NA car And we just don't do that very often. I haven't found a gain from it um, I'd rather just put a little bit of race gas and have one system on it. Do you find a, do you find on the math system versus map style that? It, particularly lugging the engine on the highway it, it, it would kick in and spray meth usually no It's not going to spray at all yeah. Because now at that point you might be at 6,000 hertz, let's say. Okay. And most people won't have them turn on until 8,000 from that 8,000 to 10,000 area. Okay. So you're not going to have any on that low end pole. You're only going to have very little on, even on a map setting because on a centrifugal you're only going to make two pounds of boost there. Yeah. I usually don't have it turn on until three, four pounds. You really don't need it. Um, and I'll usually have it go full on at five, six pounds depending on on the build. Cool, okay. Um, and that's on a centrifugal. Uh, a roots blower may be set up a little different, just so it doesn't use up so much power.
So the decision I made moving forward is to always buy the MAP style, uh, the MAP, Manifold Absolute Pressure Style. I like that style now after talking to him, it actually made more sense. You know, he, he can explain it in more depth, but I've always purchased the Mass Airflow style because, you know, unfortunately you get a lot of information online and sometimes it's conflicting, but in my mind I was like, well, the engine runs on Mass Airflow, so let's get something that actuates on Mass Airflow. But based on what he said, he explained why it's a bad idea. I thank you guys for checking this video out. I really appreciate it and hopefully it's helpful in some sort of way. And maybe it's not, you know, if there's something that you think is, is different or you think it's a mistake that was said, just comment below and let me know. The feedback's really important because based on what my subscribers and fans tell me, I actually make videos based on their feedback. I, I prefer to give information that they're looking for, not just what I want to put out there. So I'm influenced by you guys just as much as you're influenced by me. So please keep in touch. I, re I really do appreciate it. So uh, thanks again, everybody. Have a very nice day and uh, stay tuned for some future projects. I have the V8 Miata coming up and I have some really awesome Corvette content coming out. So uh, I'm pretty excited. Thanks again, everyone.